I'm beginning to hate Papa now. Because <laughs> everywhere he invites me to, he gives such a description of me that puts me on the spot. <laughs> of course, now all of you are looking at me like, okay, so what's he going to do? So I'm handling speech project four, how to say it. And I've titled my speech, Speaking with Me. When you speak, are you sure you speak with me? Are you sure the next person understands exactly what you mean to say? Babies cry. That's their way of communicating with us. Because they can't talk, whenever they cry, they know, okay, there's going to be a response. Whether they are hungry, whether they've messed their nappies, whatever it is, they know they'll get a response. As adults, we communicate in many other ways. I shall touch on four of them. One, gestures. It's universally accepted that when someone does this, it means what? Goodbye. Goodbye. Of course, some of my lovely Sunday school children do this. And they mean goodbye. <laughs> the second one is that sometimes people use sounds to communicate. So someone could go, yoo and all they're trying to do is get your attention. The third one is signs. Now, I suppose many of you here drive, so when you see that traffic signal with a cow on it, many of you know it means cattle crossing. Of course, if you've never been to driving school and you're like the trotro guy who is driving without any experience, you probably might see the cow and think, chop eye. The fourth and universally accepted one is what I'm doing now, speech, speaking. But even when we speak, we often think for people. We assume they understand what we mean to say, but oftentimes there's a disconnect. Speaking with meaning. Cuando estáis en clase, tenéis que prestar mucha atención para poder comprender todo. I see you guys in dazzle already. Relax. The climax is coming. <laughs> I said something, ladies and gentlemen, but there's a question. Did I communicate anything? Hands up if you speak Spanish. I've drawn a blank. You do? A little. Mañana. Tomorrow. So, three major things to point out. One, I spoke a language almost everyone here doesn't understand. Two, I spoke rather quickly. And three, I used certain pronunciations that even in the Spanish-speaking world, someone might have problems comprehending. That is because I used the Madridian accent, like someone in Madrid would speak. So where someone would say atención in South America, I said atención. Where someone would say lección in South America, I said lección. These three things impeded your understanding of what I said. So even if you spoke Spanish, you probably would have had some problems understanding exactly what I meant. Learn the meaning of what you say, then speak. Can you imagine that? First. Learn the meaning of what you say, and then speak. And when I get here, I can't just gloss over this. I'm a radio presenter. Sometimes I hear other broadcasters speak, and I begin to wonder, what's the guy saying? Because I can't get head and tail of what he's saying. I get the impression the person doesn't understand what he's saying. And even worse, I imagine the person on the other end of the radio, what does the person think right now? The person is absolutely confused. Speaking with meaning is so important that sometimes it can be a matter of life and death. I'll tell you a short story. There once was a man, very wealthy man. One morning he got to the office and he got a text message. It said, hello sir, I'm very sorry. I'm in your neighborhood. Every day when you leave for work, I use your wife. I use her in the morning, 
So immediately he started bringing back. The line was buzzing, no one was answering. The man was boiling. He called his wife, no answer. Maybe they are doing it for some <laughs> Unfortunately for him, as much as he tried his wife's number, she wouldn't pick up. This person's number, the person wouldn't pick up. Boiling, he got home, confronted his wife. You're cheating on me. The woman said, I'm innocent. In the heat of his anger, he took his gun, shot her. Then he called the police. Right there and then, he got another text message. And this one said, Oh, sorry, sir. I noticed you tried calling me, but I was occupied elsewhere doing work. That's why I couldn't answer. But oh, I noticed a bit of a mistake. I didn't mean wife, I meant Wi Fi. <laughs> a little typo had resulted in a great tragedy. That is just how important communication is. Your Toastmasters, as you go out there, think about it. When you speak in your office and elsewhere daily, do you actually communicate or do you just talk? This is what Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. says. Speak clearly if you speak at all. Carve every word before you let it fall. Speak clearly if you speak at all. Carve every word. You let it, before you let it fall. Now, if you've ever observed that someone carving, you know how much attention they pay to their work. So as I end, I ask you, we all speak, but when you speak, do you speak with meaning? Mr. Toastmaster.